A family in the Clintonville neighborhood is asking for the community's help tonight. Their well-known food truck, La Poplanita, was stolen, and it's a popular Mexican spot we're told many people love. NBC4's Kenya Ramirez spoke with the owners about why this truck is not only a loss for their family, but a loss for the community. Marcelina Soriano says she's owned the food truck for more than eight years now with her four kids. In a way, it's brought them all together, and now that's all gone, and she says she doesn't know where to go from here. It was kind of shocking, honestly. Take a look at this video. Here you can see roughly around 4 a.m. Saturday morning, La Poblanita being hauled away by what looks like a red truck. It hurts a lot. It's it's not something that you would ever think is going to happen to you. Chris Soriano says the worst part has been seeing his mom's spirits crushed. This truck has been his mom's pride and joy, a food truck that has helped her pay the bills and provide a living for her family. This is our job. This is our life. We spend like 90% of the year in, in that truck working. Leo Soriano says business has been hard enough as it is with the pandemic. Now, losing their main source of income leaves them with nothing. I feel like we were a staple in this, in the Plainville community. Um, we have a lot of regulars. Marcelina says it's why it makes this robbery so difficult. She knows her community inside and out and didn't expect this. La verdad, yo sí quisiera mi trailita para atrás. Marcelina says all she wants is her truck back. She asks whoever stole it to leave it randomly somewhere or if they can, return it directly to her. All she wants is to get back to work. We didn't want it to have to come to this. We, you know, we love serving the community. We love, uh, we just love, we're here for the people. We're, we like to serve the people, you know, good food. And it's just crazy to me that somebody would just want to do that. Clintonville is our family, and we appreciate everyone's support. The Soriano family says if anyone finds any additional information or surveillance footage, to please send it over to the Columbus Police Department. Local for you in Columbus, Kenny Ramirez, NBC4.